What's going on everybody, Ian here for Cult of Mac. And on any given week, I spend a lot of time in front of a keyboard. Whether I'm on my Mac or my iPad, there's almost always a keyboard between me and whatever it is that I'm working on. Now that could be responding to emails, it could be working on writing scripts for videos, it could be working on code, it could even be doing something as silly as surfing the web or browsing Twitter. But regardless of the situation, there's almost always a keyboard between me, my hands, and the computer that I'm working on. And because of that, I've spent a lot of time thinking about how to make my time on my computer more efficient and more effective and more comfortable. And that's led me down the rabbit hole of keyboards. Now the keyboards that are built into iPads, smart key covers are decent. The keyboards in most of the modern MacBooks are not great. And any office keyboard that you're gonna get, you know, at a regular office job kind of feels like typing in mashed potatoes. So that's led me towards mechanical keyboards. But the problem is I want a mechanical keyboard that's Mac friendly and iOS friendly and something that offers Bluetooth, which is a really hard combo to find unless you find the Keychron K2, which might be the best mechanical keyboard for both Mac and iOS. Now the K2 first and foremost is an 84 key compact wireless keyboard, meaning that it doesn't have the number pad on the side, but it does have numbers, letters, F1 through 12, arrow keys, you know, some of those quick action things like home and end. And best of all, the K2 is also Mac friendly, meaning it has command and option instead of control and alt. Now in the box, you do get alternate keycaps and there's a little toggle on the side that lets you switch from Mac and iOS mode to Windows and Android mode. For those of you who want to use the K2, you know, either across different device families or maybe even just want to use it on the Windows side, that's an option. But you can use it with a Mac, and that's the important thing here. Now, on top of that, the K2 is also a Bluetooth keyboard, as I said, which means that you can pair it with not only one, but three different devices. So you can pair it with your Mac, you can pair it with your iPad, and still have room for a third device. And that doesn't include the fact that you can also connect the K2 to any device that supports USB through the USB-C port on the side and the included USB-C to USB-A cable, meaning that it can work with literally any computer that you encounter. Now, one of the reasons that people get a mechanical keyboard is both for the increased key travel and that overall tactile response. And the K2's Gateron switches definitely don't disappoint. They come in three different flavors, Gateron blue, brown, and red, meaning super clicky, kind of clicky and slightly less clicky. And then ultimately a slightly different key feel and response as well as you're typing. Now I personally went with the Gateron Blue because I really like that loud chunk, 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 chunk as you're typing, but some people prefer a quieter keyboard experience. So they may be better off with the Gateron Reds. Ultimately the blues are really fun to type with and they give this really satisfying sound, which to me is very soothing to a spouse or coworker, might be kind of annoying, but it is that typical mechanical keyboard sound that people associate with the idea of a mechanical keyboard. In my use over the last couple months, I never found the K2 to be particularly fatiguing on my fingers as I did longer and longer typing things, which is a good sign and something that I can't say the same for when it comes to the MacBook. The one thing I did find slightly less comfortable about the K2 though, is the fact that it sits a little bit higher. And that's due to the fact that mechanical key switches do require some decent vertical space but it meant the whole keyboard sat up just a little higher than I was used to, causing some weird flex on my wrist and could, for some people, potentially cause some discomfort or even increased errors. Now for me, I was all right and didn't find it too overwhelmingly uncomfortable, but it is something worth considering if you're going to jump into the mechanical keyboard and specifically the K2's design. Now another feature of the K2 that follows on the trend that most mechanical keyboards have, and I'm sure it's mostly for the gamers, is RGB backlighting. But the RGB backlighting can be really nice. Now it does feature a lot of those ridiculous light shows, you know, the ones where the whole keyboard's lighting up and fireworks are going off and the whole thing's kind of crazy. And those are fun, I guess, if you wanna just show off that the keyboard can light up. But for me, I like something a little more subtle. One of my favorites is just a very subtle, soft glow for each key you tap which is really nice and really soothing. You don't really notice it during the daylight, but at night it can be really fun because you can see just how quickly you're typing as each key lights up under your finger as your fingers move across the keyboard. 
Now, all in all, the Keychron K2 has been a great keyboard. It's worked well on iOS and with my iPad, I've never had any issues with it disconnecting or dropping keys or anything weird like that. It's been super nice to use on my Mac where I do a lot of long form writing and coding and I've never found it fatiguing or tiring. And in fact, I find it more soothing to work with the K2 than with any keyboard I've used on my Mac before, partially because of that RGB lighting and those nice subtle glows, but also because of that nice clickety clackety sound as I type on the keyboard. The Kickiron K2 has been an absolutely great keyboard, and if you're in the market for a mechanical keyboard that works with the Mac and supports Bluetooth, the Kickiron K2 is absolutely in a class of its own. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. While you're down there, let me know what kind of keyboard you're using. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload. I'm Ian for Cult of Mac, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.